Hey guys, I just wanted to do a like a test marbling. I took an old uh, rod blank, and I have a few of these laying around, and I like you know mess around with them sometimes to see if there's certain colors I want together. Well, I wanted to see what the pigments by Nuno would look like with a liquid CRB pigment and to kind of get an idea of uh, two colors together for two rod builds that I'm doing. And right here I'm, I'm coating a section off of where I'm going to be marbling. And again, this isn't on a, a rod. This is just a test blank. Now this is the tropical blue pigments by Nuno. I'm going to do a section. Actually, I'm going to do two sections, this one and a smaller one right next to it. One's going to be for another powder pigment, which is the Sunset Dazzler. And then that smaller section, I'm just going to see how the orange CRB liquid pigment does with it. A couple of things that I can do as I'm going through doing the marbling is if you let it sit just a little bit when you put that light coat before you go adding other pigments. Um, in other words, if you let it start setting just a little bit, the color that you're working with won't move around as much. And another thing I can do once I get this all done, if say I'm not happy with um, the way the color turned out or if I wanted you know some more of another color you know some more of this color or some more of another color I can uh, let it completely set and just do a layer on top of it there's all sorts of cool things you can do with marbling and when it starts out as you're marbling the way it looks now is totally not going to be what it's going to look like when you get done And that's what I kind of like because there's always a surprise. I mean, it, it's just something to look forward to. And right past the second set, the second little area of blue that I did, I actually did another small section of black marbling pigment. And my silly behind didn't turn around and turn the video back on the recording. I wasn't recording it at the time. But I'll kind of give you an idea and let you know what I did. Okay, right here, I'm adding the Sunset Dazzler. Just kind of putting it on and moving it around. I like to work with a toothpick. And I'll always, because I can get finer lines, it's just something I've always done and just kind of, you know, you get old and set in your ways. But I'm all the time cleaning the end of my toothpick so I won't be, so I can get crisper colors and, and they won't get kind of mixed up. They just kind of look nicer.
and then I move it around the way I want it. I can sort of get it started in the direction I want it to go, but it's going to go the direction it wants to go. And like I said, the way it looks now, it's going to be totally different while it's moving around and, and figuring out where it wants to be. I've even at some different times I've turned around and uh, changed the direction that the um, rod was turning to get it to flow a different direction. You can there's just different things you can do. And if I wanted it to um, move around less, again, I could have waited just a little bit longer and start to let it set to where it, it wouldn't be able to move around as much. You can already see it kind of spreading out more. And it's not as bright as it was when I first started it. We're almost to the section where I added the liquid orange pigment. Right there that I'm fixing to start working on was the black section, the black pigment powder pigment that I used and we are fixing to come to the end of the video so I want to make sure I remind y'all to subscribe to our channel like this video and hit that notification bell and here in hold on just a second See, I had a little bit too much orange, but I can go over the top of that. And this is what it looks like once it's set. Again, it's always a surprise, and you can see it spread out a lot. You guys take care and tight lines.